Yeah. Hey. He's on there. Yeah. <laughs> Take him out. So that's us, we're um, starting to rain now, it's about to get dark, we've got a bit of a hike to get home, getting all the uh, ingredients together. Cool. Well, welcome everybody. We're about to do some um, cook-ups and uh, the first thing we're going to cook up is our raw fish. And um, when I say cook up, we're not actually going to cook the thing up because it's going to stay raw. Um, but we're going to do a dish that I really, really enjoy and uh, almost every birthday, uh, special event or occasion that you go to, there is a bit of raw fish. Um, Kiwi style, this is how I make it. Um, there are a whole lot of variations to it, obviously. Um, but this is, some, this is something that I've done for a while now and um, very, very enjoyable way to eat it. And uh, if you're out there trying to figure out a way, hey, why not give it a go and uh, see what you what you think. Um, feel free to comment below as well um, the ingredients that you add to it, some of the little difference um, or styles that you, you, you put into how you cook it up as well. Um, by no means am I a chef at all. I don't claim to be, um, but I do enjoy cooking and uh, um, providing kai for whanau. So, yeah, we're gonna get into it and um, hopefully you guys enjoy. So we've got cucumber, obviously we're gonna um, cook the, the fish in some lemon um, shortly. Um, we've got the cherry tomatoes, uh, some capsicum, um, cream, and I've got some coconut cream as well, and uh, the old spring onion. And then um, over here we've got our kawai, and if we run out of kawai and, and it's looking like we need a bit more meat, I've got some kingfish in the fridge as well that we can add and um, definitely recommend kingfish, um, trevally, uh, kawai, they're very beautiful in the raw fish so yeah we're going to get into it. Make sure that when you're um, cutting up your fish in the dish, typically this is the, the thing that I like to have the biggest. Um, I like to make sure the fish is going to be cut in bigger portions than any of the vegetables are going to be. So, just a little note there. And I've actually had people comment on the fact that there's more fish than there is veggies in the raw fishes I make. So, it's a key. It's a key. You'll notice um, there's a bit of blood in this kahoi. We did bleed it, um, but I'm not as particular on the kahoi as I am on the kingfish about getting the blood out, especially when it's going to be um, for a raw fish. So, personal preference. I don't mind a little bit of a little bit of blood in the old uh, raw fish kahoi. Thank you. 
actually just another note um, if, you, if you're going to um, catch fish and um, cook it up for people just something that I really recommend and swear by is um, salt ice in your chili bin um, I mean if you can't get the, the salt ice normal ice is probably better than nothing but um, salt ice all the way man and just, just remember the minute you put um, fresh water on your, your fish the, the flesh immediately starts to deteriorate um, I mean I'll literally only let fresh water touch my fish when I'm about to cook it up and clean it um, and that's if I have to clean it um, but always, always, as soon as you've caught your fish, bleed it, put it in your chili bin on salt ice and the quality of what you're um, going to be preparing is so much better, so yeah. Right, the next thing we're going to do, so we've got our, got our fish all cut up in the, the bowl there, beautiful. Next thing we're going to do is get our lemon ready. Don't forget to um don't forget to wash your hands too. You're cooking for the farming. That's our um kahawai just in some lemon juice. We'll leave that in the fridge while we prep our veggies. Okay. Yeah. Right, so while that's in there, um, just letting the onion juice get absorbed by the kahawai, cook it up a little bit. Um, we'll start preparing all of our veggies. Capsicum. See these chefs do this stuff real flesh. I'm as basic <laughs> as they come. I'm not even gonna try. Right, a spring onion. The next so we've got our capsicum, spring onion, tomato, next part we're going to add is our cucumber. So that's our, um, it's basically the veggies that I'm going to be chucking in there, um, all done, all done and dusted. Um, so as you can see, that's kind of changed the colour of the, the kahawai. And that's, that's pretty much long enough. Um, I just let the, the uh, lemon juice cook the kahawai. Um, so it's about their colour and then I start adding all the other ingredients into it.
basically all I'm doing here is getting a good spread of all the uh, different ingredients, making sure we've got a bit of all sorts all over the place. Beautiful. Coconut juice goes in. And I like to add a little bit of just normal cream to go with the old coconut cream. Just adds a little bit of a different flavor. Me, um, and that's basically our raw fish done and dusted. Real simple dish to make. Um, I mean, that was made with one. Um, kahawai and that was a I mean it was a pretty decent sized kahawai but that was one kahawai that we um, we put out as a live bait <clears throat> and uh, didn't get taken so um, we brought them home and put them to good use and that's gonna feed a few people right there so um yeah if ever you're out there and you're only catching kahawai nothing wrong with a good feed of kahawai bring it home cook up some raw fish or ceviche as they call it pretty flash and uh, you can be uh, getting your family around the table and having some fun so yeah hopefully you enjoyed that uh, and hopefully um, that's added something to your your list of things that you can now cook in the kitchen um, if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, like this video and flick a share and uh, keep in touch let us know how you make your raw fish what ingredients you use and hey we might do another version of it a little later on um, if I think oh that's pretty that's pretty cool uh, other than that, stay safe out there and uh, we'll see you again with another video from Outdoor Adventures with Case. Finished result. <laughs> All done now. About to eat it up. Thank you, sweetie. Well, I was just trying to eat it. Get the bird fly. Don't forget to look up our YouTube channel, Outdoor Adventures with Kays, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay notified every time we upload a new video.